Facebook. How's it gonna go live? It is wonderful, okay. This meeting is being live streamed. All right, we have Laura with us. I am confident that we will have other people join as we move along here. Um, I am going to show everyone a new feature. We have a document splitter built into opportunities now. Um, I'm not sure about you, but I'm personally very excited about this. This is something that I know several of us have been asking for for a while. So looking forward to utilizing that for the first time today. Um, also, if you haven't done goal setting for 2022, I would encourage you to book an appointment with either myself or Martin, or um, I'm sure any of the leadership staff would also be willing to help you set your goals for 2022 and then help you stay accountable to them. I told you we'd have more people joining us. Hey, Miss Rebecca. So we are live on Facebook. These meetings do get recorded. I do my best to upload them to our YouTube channel as well. Also, if you haven't already, make sure, oh, hang on just a second. I just threw my phone across the room. Um, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and the channel for the tech trainers of the greater heartland uh, region or area, one of the two of those words. Also, you can find that channel on Facebook. So what it is, is our regional tech trainers. I'll just share my screen. Our regional tech trainers, which is, I'm included in that group. Um, we're doing a weekly training now where one of us or two of us from the region teach class together. And it's quite a wonderful thing. So we're gonna go to tech. Okay, so tech trainers of the greater Heartland region is what you're gonna search for on Facebook. This is what it looks like. Um, Sam and I were the last ones. This video is awesome. It's all about the two apps that Keller Williams provides for you. The first one being the consumer app and the second one being obviously our command app. Um, the first like six minutes are Sam and I trying to figure out why um, they couldn't hear me. So it, it's always funny to see the tech people have tech problems. <laughs> so make sure that you follow this page and that you like it. And we'll get started in command. We are not going to sign in as Priscilla this morning. We're going to be Elise. Here we go. I'm going to check my notifications. That's the first thing I do. Okay. Okay, I'm sure it's all returned. Okay, so we're gonna go into opportunities. And I'm gonna go into dot loop. So all I'm doing here is I'm just gonna pull a bunch of documents so that it's all on page. We'll just do it from bittersweet. So on here, if you pull, if you do, if you check more than one document and you say download, it's gonna combine them all into one PDF. And that's what we want because we're getting ready to split it up. So we're gonna go here, we'll go to bittersweet. We're gonna go to documents. I'm gonna move your beautiful faces. Okay, so we're gonna go to under contract. And we're gonna press the three dots to the right next to where you can choose either computer or dot loop or DocuSign. So we're gonna press the three dots and we're gonna say split and attach PDF. And we're gonna do from my computer and then we're going to drag and drop. 
Okay, now check this out. We press next. Look at this. Look, we can choose. I'm so excited. Okay, so page one, then page two, then page three, and then page four. Now say I wanted two through four to be together, we would do two dash four, and then it would put them all together. But I want them separate, so three and four. So we're using commas in between. Now, if I wanted to label these, I would do one, and then I would put amendment four, what is this? This is the doc, the doc, or boat lift. Amendment for boat lift. Attach more pages. And then I would make this number two. And you can choose from pre selected, like all of our pre selected stuff in there as well. So if I was doing this, I would do this is page two. Is it on there? You have to scroll. Okay, so this is inspection response number two. So I'm probably okay. So we can't have number signs, so we'll just put number two. And then on this, this would be page three. Page three is the actual inspection notice. So from here, I would scroll through here, and I would press. Oh, that's interesting. So something interesting here is it only seems to show you things that you don't already have uploaded. So it only shows you the open spots. Um, I'm going to press cancel because I'm not going to split those documents since I already have most of them uploaded. So if we look, I do already have the inspection notice uploaded. So that is why it would not allow me to add that that way. Um, Okay, I want to take a minute to see if anyone has any questions. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Does anyone have questions relating to command or to the technology that we use as realtors? Anyone? If you're not able, who, Nicole Patterson, okay, I'm checking on Facebook, Nicole Patterson says that she's excited about the document splitter, me too, we've been waiting a long time for this, Ashley passed her real estate exam, and she is on here as well, okay, so Let's talk about, I know, I know I've been talking about this a lot. So I want to show you guys this amazing smart plan that we have now. Um, okay. And um, this smart plan is open to anyone. And if for some reason you don't feel confident setting it up, reach out to me, send me your command uh, credentials, and I will set this up on in your account for you. So I'm going to share my screen again. We're going to take a look at the smart plan to get off. So we're in command again. We're going to smart plans. Now you're going to go to the library and then you're going to type in Brian Leverett. Oh, and you're going to change the search thing to author name. L-E-V-E-R-I-T-T. -T. Okay, Brian Leverett. And the smart plans that I'm talking about are 12 direct emails. Now, there are four of these smart plans. They are all tied together. So you need to have one through three. And then when you click on one through three, it's going to ask you to download four through six as well. Now, this may give me errors because I've already got this smart plan. Nope, apparently I don't have it on this. Oh, yeah. Okay. You already have the smart plan in your library. So then you're going to download uh, one through three. 
and then four through six, and then you're gonna come over here and you're gonna download seven through eight, and then 10 through 12, all right? And then you're gonna go back to your smart plans that are in your library, and we're gonna delete, we're gonna delete these two that are duplicates. Okay, so this is the first one. As you can see, I have 440 people on it. That's my whole database. My whole database is on this smart plan. So let's take a look at it. The first email, by the way, these are 12 emails. They go out once every 29 to 32 days. The first one says, hey, contact first name, how are you doing? I wanted to check on you and your family. Is there anything I can do for you at this time? And then all of your contact information there. Notice there's a link to your Keller Williams app, not command, the consumer app is what it links to. 29 days later, they get another email titled the housing market. Hey, contact first name. There is a lot of information and misinformation right now regarding what is happening in the housing market. As always, I want you to know that you can count on me to keep you informed and answer any questions you have. Do you have any questions I can answer at this time? 29 days later, they get another email about refinancing. Um, now, listen, if you have, oh, I'm so sorry, my eyes itchy. If you have a preferred lender that is not Keller Mortgage, put their information here. See if they have a different worded email that they would prefer you to use, or if they're okay with this wording, and then you can just link to their online application instead of the Keller Mortgage one. Um, personally, I am okay if my people want to use Keller Mortgage. It can save them money, so I'm okay with it. So you pull this link right here because you will have to put in your own link. You pull this link from kellermortgage.com and you sign in as an agent and then you go to your profile here. We'll just do it. We'll do it right here. So Keller Mortgage, kellermortgage.com. We're going to sign in as a KW agent. And it automatically signs in with your command credentials. You don't have to have a special password or anything. So I'm signed in. We're going to go to KM settings and we're going to copy this link. This is the link that you use. Now, I do have a preferred loan officer. His name is Thomas. Um, I'm not sure if he's taking on additional clients right now, but if he is, feel free to assign him as your preferred loan officer. And then you just copy and paste your link right here. And then they experience this. This is what your clients want to experience. Either I want to refinance or I want to buy a home and then it walks them through the process. So there we go. And then this only, so smart plans can only be tied together three smart plans at a time. So they've gone ahead and you're going to um, add the smart plan to go on to the next one. And then you're gonna press save and we're gonna go back. And then the next nine emails are all very similar to this. In fact, some of them are a repeat of what we just saw. So I wanna tell you two stories about this smart plan maybe three, three stories about the smart plan. Um, I put every new contact that I have on the smart plan because it doesn't matter when it starts. It doesn't matter. Nothing is holiday oriented or certain parts of the year oriented. This is anyone can start the smart plan at any time. So I added this obviously to my database because I don't test things on you guys. So I tested it on my database after I tested it on myself, never test things for the first time on your clients, always run them for yourself or a friend that's willing to be your guinea pig for an Amazon gift card or something. So I got, I, it has actually gotten me a closing already on the books um, to close 
on the 14th of next month. It also got me in contact with someone that I've never actually successfully gotten a hold of that was a Facebook lead. So someone that it cost me less than $2 to get their information. I put them on the smart plan and they responded with, hey, um, we're looking in the 300 to 350 price range. We want something that is either already on a rental program or could easily be added to one. Oh, by the way, do you know of any rental programs, short-term or long-term? Obviously, I sent them to Four Seasons Property Management and Keys to the Lake. But I didn't know what they were looking for. I've never actually been able to get a hold of them. So apparently, they're super responsive in email, and I've had some conversations with them, and they're now on an MLS auto search, which they were not on previously. Um, second of all, I put this on Denny Odie's stuff, and he was able to get in contact with some people that had moved away from the lake that he thought were probably just clients that were lost now um, because they don't live in the area anymore. They may reach out, he may get a referral from it if he can direct them towards a realtor in their area, you know, but they're never gonna be fully a transaction for him again in his head. Well, turns out once people move away from the lake, they miss it and they wanna move back. So, that's going to produce a deal for Denny. Now in Chesterfield, where my friend Jess, who created this smart plan is a market center tech trainer or an MCTT. She was able to get one of their agents up there, a $1.2 million listing because of this smart plan. She put this guy's whole database on this smart plan and it resulted in several listings, but the most notable one being a $1.2 million listing. So here are my thoughts. If you don't feel comfortable setting your database up on a smart plan just because you're not familiar with smart plans and you don't want to set it up wrong, call me, text me, email me, send me your command logins. I will get this all set up and I will either show you how to add your database to it once it's all set up or you can tell me to just go ahead and add your whole database. So just some thoughts there. Um, it's definitely something that is worth doing. It basically is just, it's like just doing the care calls. So, it, but this is 12 of your 36 touches a year. So if you're sending out a quarterly magazine, that's another four. So you got 16 there. You're doing the quarterly calls. Um, so then you got another four there. So you're at 20 and then you only need 36. You only need 16 more. So um, just some thoughts. And that's that. I don't have a lot for you for you guys today. Um, if there's anything that you guys want to cover that I haven't covered recently or that you can't find the answers to, call, text, email me anytime. You guys know I'm always available to jump on digitally if we need to be in a situation where I can see your screen. Um, most of the time I can walk you through whatever issues you're having over the phone and not even have to sign into Zoom or anything. So. Um, I will be in the office all day today at the HH location. And don't forget about Secret Santa. Um, and then I think that's it. Have a wonderful day. And if you have questions, drop by, shoot me a text, give me a call, and I'll get back with you. Have a great day. Merry Christmas if I don't see you before then. <laughs> Bye.